Okay, we'll start here. And finish with here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change Part 15 re -coup. In this episode, we re-entered by reflecting that composing and rhythm patterns and timbers is becoming a major thing of interest in series. And we just played a little bit of that for you. In fact, we'll play this whole thing. These are Afro-Cuban drum patterns, four of them, and uh, they each repeat. So let's listen. Six of them, I should say. Here we go. So, at first, it's like, oh, they all sound the same, except when you hear a cowbell here instead of a, a, a cymbal. But that snare makes all the difference in the world where it's hitting. Versus. Versus. subtle but nevertheless there so we're we've done some rhythm work in the past and now we're curious to extend and develop it um, we also made a concept diagram composing and performance occur in multiple dimensions here there's a fixed beat boom 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 and a variable beat like you just heard where the snare was coming in uh, there's a fixed pitch which we're going to be playing in a minute and a variable pitch uh, so a drone note no in the drone and then how you perform when you read text or sing a lyric against the fixed and variable pitch and beat really make an interesting multi-dimensional pattern which is of course our theme so we spent the bulk of this working on what we're calling it too and we're going to show this to you and play it for you in its current entirety. There are a lot of um, moving parts at the moment. Here we go. Thank you. 
concludes today's stream and this part. What we like about this are um, we tuned it quite a bit by ear. And by tuning, we mean you heard it get slower, faster, louder, softer. We just went through it and kept listening and tweaking that. And in older series, we had to actually make a spreadsheet and make a visual chart to help us figure out and balance the the dynamics and the harmony and the and the tempo. But basically, tempo and and loudness and then putting extra spaces between things or put, running them together, compressing, uh, seem to make a huge difference in turning this into something. It's just over two minutes, and we feel like it really keeps our interest the whole two minutes, and that's pretty hard to do. So shout outs to Atman Rez, who stopped by. Atman's been here before, and Miss Cleo, uh, our ideas for next time are to keep working with it too. And then we did get a new uh, song transcription commission. So we're going to start working with that on stream again, like we did uh, last month. We appreciate you. Do come back. Find out what's going to happen next. Take care and keep on streaming. <laughs>